Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my four year review of owning this Jayco Baja SLX 17 foot bunkhouse travel trailer that I tore with my Tundra, which you can see here. Last year I did the three year review at Jumbo Rocks Campground in Joshua Tree. We're back here for New Year's 2022 and we're going to redo this review one year later. Let's take a look. As we start with the outside, I put on two batteries. It comes stocked with one battery. Four years later, I have yet to replace a battery, which is pretty amazing. I do a lot of camping though. I camp every six or seven weeks, so batteries never really get too low. These are lead acid batteries. Nice thing about these Jayco's, 2019 they have a shut off uh, switch so you can switch it from power off when you're not using it to power on uh, so I have two 12 volt lead acid batteries that lasted like I said four years it also has a seven gallon propane tank pretty nice that will hold you for quite some time I put a lock on my rig make sure no one's taking it haven't really found a good solution with these uh, blocks. It has a uh, crank down jack here. Thought about replacing that with an automatic one. The travel on these jacks is not very far. So as a result, I use these blocks. One thing I should mention about the uh, tongue here is this, these brackets, I ended up getting them welded because it kept slipping when I was driving. I got tired of the uh, weight distribution the hitches would just slip, it was a pain. So, but you can see this thing is loose again on me. So that's somewhat of a pain. What I really like about my Jayco um, is the stabilizer jacks. There's one on each corner, which is great. Uh, as you can see here, um, one on each corner. Biggest expense I've had with my trailer over the four year period is actually replacing my axle, which also required replacing the tires. Normally you replace tires every three years is a recommendation. My axle somehow got bent, probably from hitting a pothole or something. Should be concave up as you see here. Mine was concave down and wore out the inside of my old tires. That was the most expensive item I had to do on repair wise on my RV in the four years I've owned it. A fill tank here, put water in. Um, electrical, if you have electrical hookup, you don't use here. Uh, city water connection, you got your typical sewer. I did have my sewer line here break this year. Uh, I need to replace that. This is a screw on. I'm gonna put a brass fitting on. Um, you can see the, the the other stabilizer jacks at the end here, really nice, one on each corner. The other thing I had to replace was my spigot. Right here you can see my new water spigot I put on, it's a $5 replacement. I did a YouTube video actually on how to replace this spigot, it's just cheap plastic. The frame itself as you can see is in good shape, kudos to Jayco on whatever uh, conversion coating they put on there to keep it from rusting. Uh, haven't had any rust on my frame. The Baja has a large external storage container here as you can see. You can put a lot of gear in there, keep my hoses as well as this electrical line. One thing that what Jayco doesn't have is a large extension to their electrical line to reach shore power. I also have my here my uh, surge protector very handy to have to keep uh, all your electronics safe. And I have this spigot angle uh, for my black waste I need to add for the broken one. Uh, but overall, a nice compartment to store a lot of your gear. As we work to the rear of the trailer, it does come with an LED awning, uh, which is kind of nice. And at the end here, they have a spare tire. This is actually the original tire from four years ago. That I didn't have to replace when I had bent my axle on my rig. As far as uh, keeping my rig from sliding back, I use chocks. I like the heavy duty ones. This black one is way better than the cheap plastic ones that you see for sale in most places. So, how do you recommend the heavy duty ones versus these plastic yellow cheap ones? 
those are my weight distribution hitch uh, bars that I use on my uh, tongue as my rig. And then there's two spouts here that you can open up with your water pump on to drain the water out of your rig if you're afraid of uh, freezing conditions and you just want to purge the water. Uh, pretty nice uh, way to evaporate all the water in your rig. Let's go inside and check the rig out. It does have a table for two. Drops down and makes into a bed. Keep a spare stove there. I use a jackery um, when I'm boondocking because you don't have electrical power. Um, the shoreline power or shore power has a small sink, refrigerator, fairly small. Another thing that did break on this is the latch right here came off, as you can see. Uh, and it gives you a little small freezer as well. But uh, not a very big fridge. I wish Sometimes I wish it was bigger. Has a nice microwave if you have shore power hooked up. Large cabinet to keep you store stuff in. It does come with two bunk beds. I use these for storage quite a bit. Very nice. Thermostat there. And it's not digital, but it works just fine. Has the toilet and has a shower. As you can see here with a skylight so I'm about six feet tall and I can stand inside here uh, just barely so it gives you an idea how tall it is and a tub I use that water container to actually put extra water in the toilet when I'm driving just so it sloshes around two burner stove that I've rarely used Comes with a fire extinguisher um, and some windows, right? You got a little bit of light that comes in. One window there, and uh, you only got window here. You the window in the rear of your bed, uh, which is also a fire exit. And you also have a window down under the bunk bed. Uh, no window in the top, but you do have a light in both bunk beds. I should mention back on the bathroom here is the wallpaper on the rear of the trailer as you can see here is starting to separate. I parked this trailer uh, in the heat still under storage under cover but the back end of the trailer gets kind of hot in the summer the wallpaper is actually separating uh, from the back end so it's not water damage. I did add a fantastic fan to this rig, which is really nice. It doesn't come with one of these. It comes with the cheap old fan. But these are nice because you turn it on, you can get a nice breeze blowing through the trailer. Uh, really, really recommend this as a as a, an addition to your rig. Quick review of some of the controls we have in here. It does have water pump on. You can see the batteries are at two thirds spoon docking here. Fresh water's full, black tank and the gray tanks are empty. It does have a capability of going to like a cigarette type lighter for your TV cable input. Turn that on, you just turn that, turns on the antenna, which is up there, you can rotate to find your signal is to make it as strong as possible. So kind of review that. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, the bed, the queen bed. The one thing I did not like about the rig is the mattress that comes with. I did change the original mattress I kept, but I bought a foam mattress to go on top of that. You can custom order those sizes. I believe this bed's a 60 by 80. Um, it's comfortable now. Actually, the comfortablest bed well, used to be the lower bunk bed I like the most, but uh, now I got that better foam mattress on, it's much better. So, there is a radio here. Um, never readily use it. Um, but that's, that's kind of the review of the inside of the rig. Uh, it has the fire and the CO2 sensors. Gives you a good idea. The awning is controlled here by the lights and as you can see here it's LED which 
back in 2019. That was kind of a new thing, so very much like that. Jumbo Rocks Campground. I left a review on Jumbo Rocks. Highly recommend this campground. It's it's uh, you can check it out here. Um, nice spot, fire ring table. I will leave a link in my YouTube for a review of this campground. Um, great, great campground uh, in Joshua Tree National Park. So. Hopefully that review was beneficial in helping you make a decision of whether or not to buy a little rig like this. I've had great success with this rig other than the cheap plastic parts that sometimes break as you noticed and the axle. Those plastic parts are fairly easy to replace, no big deal. Uh, I really like Jumbo Rocks Campground here. I will leave a link in the description to uh, more information about this campground if you're interested. My channel is devoted to adventure mostly camping, backpacking, and uh, exploring. So if you're interested in that type of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Until our next adventure.